content warning. Food, guns, violence, war. This video contains spoilers for the game, and in the war I find you. Romance stories are an outpouring of emotion, but for me, there's a thin line between being cute or trite. And In the War I Find You delivers its tale sincerely, making for a heartwarming romance story, if a bit too saccharine. And In the War I Find You, created by Lawrence Marvel, is a science fiction romance twine game where you play as Fiora, an alien courier in a race against time to reach her human lover Kia before she leaves the planet on the brink of an interplanetary war. The story shifts between the present journey to reach Kia and the flashbacks to how her and Fiora's relationship has developed. These two sides of the story complement each other's pace. The journey to Kia is obstacle after obstacle, from trying to access the roads blocked by a soldier to outrunning a creature trying to eat you. Fiora's choices are frequently ones made out of desperation, and though the story goes along the same general path no matter the choice the player makes, these moments move fast to maintain the tense mood. Each ordeal in the present is contrasted by the flashbacks, warm and comforting compared to the cold struggle of the present story. The font is slightly bigger, a little less sharp. There's time to breathe. Fiora meets Kia through her courier work, and seeing how their relationship forms is cute. Fiora is hesitant and awkward, never quite able to reciprocate while Kia tries to break through that wall. As for the war, its background is a vague one, functioning more as a way to amp up the stakes to the most extreme levels. It's not just a move that could keep them apart, but a whole interplanetary war. It's either now or never for Fiora, and the race to Kia increasingly strengthens her resolve to reach her. The little attention paid to the war on a wider scale than how it affects one couple hints at tensions under the surface, but they're overshadowed in service of the main story leaving little to dig into in that respect. The war is won by three superpowers, and the game uses this as a way to point out how these war machines move even against the people's wishes. It's mainly to push the game's belief that people are fundamentally good despite the circumstances they are in, seen in the interactions with the soldier Elias and the bandits. The game begins with Flora pleading with Elias to let her use the road as it's the only safe path. There's an implied pass between them, and if she continues to plead, he will let her sneak onto the road. Later on, after an encounter with a creature, Fiora is captured by a group of bandits. The bandits are extremely ridiculous with the bumbling sidekicks, and along with the reveal about the Sakai, the kind of alien Fiora is, having a second heart that beats only for their true love, it's the game at its cheesiest. All this culminates in the bandits helping Fiora reach her destination with the creature right on their tail. The game's world is smoothed over by the presence of love, melting the barriers between the people it touches. At its two hearts, the game is a romance story, and thus every part of the game works towards that end. There's no cynicism in how characters are portrayed, whether it's in the quiet moments Fiora and Kia share with each other, or the struggle to salvage the last hope at a reunion those emotions are expressed without restraint. For all its saccharine elements, and in the war I find you, is sincere in its romance. Having said that, the game's conception of love is a bit of a closed loop for the world it presents. The game cares for Fiora and Kia, and it shows this by letting love be this uncomplicated, universal, overpowering thing. The impending war, how people exist within it, and the apparent differences in Fiora and Kia's lives are brushed away or solved by the power of love. What results is an idea of love that can only act within the confines of its story. This isn't a problem in and of itself. Sometimes you just want a cute romance, as cute as one can be in the face of an impending war. But it's something worth mentioning. If I had to sum up the game with one of its moments, I think back to when Kia says she likes her coffee bitter because the game itself is one of the sweetest things I've experienced in a while. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon or Coffee. 
Patreon is if you want to support me monthly, and coffee is for one-time support. These videos wouldn't be possible without the generous support of my patrons and coffees. Any amount helps this channel keep going. Anyways, here's my Twitter, my Instagram, my channel link if you want to subscribe, and some other videos I've made. Well, that's all I had to say. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you around.